Emily's breakfast is a Pepto Bismol chewable and some water. <laughs> that is a lovely hit. And we hit the bonus. Fill them up, fill them up, fill them up, fill them up, fill them up. Six dollars. Every train. Six, twelve, eighty. Dragging me from left to right. Right, we're on our way home. I am very drunk. She's very drunk. I disagree. Um, <laughs> All right, good morning and welcome back to the vlog. It is Wednesday, which means it is downtown day. So we are, what time are we on now? We're on, shit, it's quarter past 10. We are quarter past 10, that's late for us. We're normally up and out at like six, seven o'clock in the morning. Um, so we're gonna head down to reception and Emily's gonna check if she's got free play and all that stuff. Didn't you just go down to reception? Got moved, yeah. Oh. Um, she's gonna go down to reception and check about her free play and resort credit because she's got $125 dining credit and 75 in free play. Um, because we want to get breakfast in here, ideally, and then we are going for lunch. Where are we going for lunch? Ah, Pizza Rock. Yes, downtown. So after breakfast, we'll do a little bit of gambling here, if we can, if the machines are on at the moment. They are still switched off and things working. It's now four days that MGM won't pay the ransom, so we're all held at ransom as customers, unable to do anything, really. Um... Yeah, so we'll be heading to downtown and the plan is to do $50 in each casino. We'll be using the Las Vegas Advisor as well, which will give us some free play, signing up to all the new casinos. We did downtown in February, but we only kind of scratched the surface. We were only there for a couple of hours. We want to spend a full day there today, gambling all afternoon, Pizza Rock uh, happy hour 3.30, and then gambling the night away, watching some music outside um, on Fremont Street, and yeah, just trying all the different casinos. I think I'm most looking forward to Station Casino um, because it's obviously an old historic train station. And I'm in, what are you looking at me that for? Is that called Station? Station? Of course it is, Station Casino. Grand Station, isn't it? Something like that. She's saying that, that I've, I'm incorrect in what I'm calling the, I'm sure it's Grand Station Casino or Central, the Grand Central, Central Station. Now you've got me doubting myself. Main Street Station. Main Street Station. So it was a station. Yeah, same. Doesn't matter what the station name is. Anyway, I'm looking forward to that, to see the old uh, train station and how the casino is set up um, and how it works, mainly from a real estate perspective because I'm an architect geek and I like looking at buildings. Um, but anyway, yeah, we are all set to go. We're going to head out now and grab some breakfast. Either it'll be Starbucks, if we can't use resort credit, we'll be over to Egghead, Exalot, which is the one in Aria. Egghead. Egghead. Mm. We'll be going to the Aria Food Court. So we'll pick it up when we get wherever we're going. All right, so we've been walking around the casino um, all the way through the main entrance and around to get in the casino. And we just realized that off reception in Nomad is a cut through straight from the hotel into high limit and that then goes straight into the casino. So we're gonna do the cut through now, but I'll stop filming before I get told. All right, so casino is still down, the machines are on and you can play, but obviously it's not tracking any tier credit, so we won't be playing here. So I went over to the MGM just to ask about the resort credit and they said, look, they still can't do anything, it's still not loaded. The manager was there, she was really nice, having a chat, asking us how long we were here, blah, blah, blah. Um, so she's given us a $25 dining credit per person. So that's uh, $50 that we can use because it's obviously a manual voucher. So yeah, we're gonna go to Eat Italy now and use this voucher to grab some breakfast. And then, uh, well, we're not gonna jump on a slot here. We might nip to another casino or we might just go to downtown early based on the current situation. So we made it down for breakfast. Um, we 
we tried to use the $50 voucher that we've just been given and they said because the system's down they can't even accept the manual vouchers. So not really sure why she gave us that, but anyway, um, we are at Chef's table and we are getting the pancetta breakfast sandwich, which is egg, pancetta and cheese. And then we're gonna make our way down to the casino somewhere. Emily's breakfast is a Pepto Bismol chewable and some water. <laughs> so the sandwich is here. Beautiful assistant will open it up. Egg and uh, pancetta underneath. There you go. Lovely. Right. Very soft bun. Looks absolutely lovely. That was absolutely bloody lovely. Even Emily said. She's forgotten about she's forgotten about her summer kisses. She's baking an egg straight into it. Right, so we nip to La Rosticeria, Rosticeria or whatever it's called. It opened at 11 a.m. wasn't open when the breakfast place was, and we got the uh, ham sandwich. So um, obviously we were given the $50 voucher, and the breakfast place that we went to this morning, the guy said that it, we can't accept that we can't access the system, and I kind of challenged him and said, "Well, we've been given this as $50, basically, effectively, as cash." because you can't access the system. That's why we've been given this voucher to use. And he said, no, no, you can't use it. So we got the egg sandwich. Then we moved to the other sandwich shop and the same guy moved from the restaurant we've just been at to that restaurant on the till. So again, the same issue was had. So I paid on my credit card and kept the receipt. And then the guy behind me, there was a line of about 10 people, all with vouchers. Basically, they tried to use it and this guy said, you can't use it. He started screaming and shouting called the manager over, the manager came over and said, yes, you can use it. It's basically cash. So they all paid with their vouchers and we've paid on our credit card. Not an issue, I'm gonna claim it back anyway. Um, and hopefully by the time we check out on Friday, the issue is resolved and then we can submit our receipts for the, uh, to cover the original dining credit. And then effectively we've got now an additional $50. So it could work out in our advances that we'll basically come away with $170 and that's if we don't get more vouchers over the uh, next three days. I basically think staff have been told to hand out these vouchers left, right and centre. So um, I'm sure some people are taking advantage of that. But we're going to head back to the room quickly. We forgot our boarding passes and we need the boarding passes for one of the bonuses that you can get in the hotel. Um, oh yeah, we'll cut through the high limit. Um, so, I'll, uh, I'll pick it up once we get on our way. I'm crying because I just said something I probably shouldn't have said and um, well something a little bit derogatory and um, well, not derogatory just something a bit rude and as we walked around this corner there was a guy security guard stood there and he just looked at me and said to say what the fuck did you just say? Oh god. Alright, we are on our way to get a taxi to downtown. Um, there's a lot of security around today, not exactly sure why. In the area of the Nomad Lifts there are five security guards and two managers. I don't know what's going on. Um, I know what isn't going on is gambling. Queues for check-in are still massive. Apparently people at Aria are being told it's going to be a six hour wait to get checked in at Aria, six hours. Madness. Um, a lot of people have canceled MGM and have checked into Caesars properties because they're not prepared to wait, which I don't blame them. Um, so yeah, we're gonna grab an Uber and get on our way to downtown. All right, so we are doing the long walk from Nomad to Cosmo again. Um, went back to the room, grabbed a 
beautiful cup of wine. <laughs> Emily's on the beers. And we're just about to walk into Aria. We just passed uh, Norma Gelly, who was vlogging same time as us. Um, so yeah, I'll pick it up. We're gonna, well, we're gonna go in and see. So when we got back, we had a letter under the door, very kind, very nice letter from the VP of MGM Rewards, giving us tips on how to navigate through the hotel, um, basically through their cock-ups. Like, you know, keep your room key on you at all times and crap like this. Nothing about when the systems were up, nothing about any compensation for the fact that, you know, we haven't been able to use any of uh, the free play for Emily. She hadn't, we haven't been able to get any of the room credit. You know, she's lost out on $250 worth of stuff. No mention of that, just keep your room key on you at all times and a lot of other bollocks. Anyway. Um, Aria is still looking pretty quiet. A lot of the machines are on, but they are still not in use. Validation host out of service, out of service, out of service. So yeah, it's mixed. There are a few machines on and open. You can't track your points still. Even though it says in there, please insert your card, your points are being tracked, even though the computer system says it's not, and that there's an error. Um, who knows? Uh, and the Tito system is still not working, so if you do want to cash out of the machine, you have to wait for someone to come over and do a manual hand pay, which is still obviously a bit of a ball ache. So we are back off to Cosmo. I'll quickly show you the autumn fall decorations in Aria, the little potting shed. Looks like it's got lots of nice food in. Not quite the Palacio, but not bad. All right, we'll pick it up when we get into Cosmo. All right, we are just about to go into Cosmo and I've just had a wave of good feelings come across me. I've got a feeling we're gonna hit something big tonight. I've just got a feeling. We'll soon find out. See you when we get on the floor. And pay, here we come. All right, we are on Mad Max Fury Road. We put $100 in each, so that's $200. We are doing 150 bets. No, I'm not going to tell you 150. All right. 150 bets. All right, let's see what we get. All right, let's go. No idea what we're looking for. We haven't played this game before. Guessing six of the schools. Or three of them. This is very loud and the chair vibrates quite aggressively. Right, three more. Three more? Or four? Or what is it? Alright, we don't know. We'll come back if we get something. Alright, so that game was an absolute pile of shite. So we are on 007. The name's Bond. James Bond. And we are doing 90 cent bets. We got $1.70. No, we got $170 in. It's hard to film this the stupid angle. Well, we're looking for three of the uh, octopuses. The bonus. We'll come back if we get something. Three of these symbols. All right, with first respin, we got bugger all. Second respin, gold, 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 gold. Something, something. That's a bit better. What? No, okay. Emily's saying it's not very good. Oh wow, it's just died. Is that it? What's the black? Five dollars. Seven fifty. Uh suppose better than nothing. Very loud. Da -da -da. Wow. A whopping $14.75. All right, we are back on Rising Fortunes, a game I played yesterday, put $200 through it and got absolutely sweet fuck all. Uh, 
88 cents a bet. Let's go. Let's see if we can get something this time. For six of those orbs. It's wild and can close the pot at any time. Alright, we'll come back if we get something. Alright, $18 line hit puts us back up to 188. Let's keep going. Alright, we've bounced up and down a bit on the machine. This is going to be our last spin at 160 and then we're going to jump on something else. Oh, we got oh, we're not one more spin. Close the pole. Alright, this is now our last spin. Oh, so close again. Alright, we're going to jump on another machine. Alright, we made it on to Hot Stuff. We are do we put our $160 Tito in. We are gonna do $1.20 bets. Let's get that volume up. Alright. Oh, something happened. Wow. First spin. Here we go. Minor. So the mini is $12, minor is $20, major is $33, mega $58, ultra $100. All right, two for the minor, $20. There's the major, go on, Emily, take it in turns. Oh, you would pick a mini. Oh, you see, I pick a grand. All right, that's two for the major. The major is $33. Epic is 11,500, I will take that, holy shit. It's not like it's gonna happen, but 11,500 for the epic. Two for the major. Oh, two for the mini. Oh, there she goes. $12 mini. Well, not bad for the first spin. Can't complain. Oh, he upgraded up to the minor. Even better. $20. All right, we'll take it. First spin, $20 hit. Thank you very much. Go on, baby. Shake it. All right, takes us back to 179. Do a couple of backup spins. No, won't work. All right, cool. Welcome back if we get something else. All right, a few seconds later, we got the wicked wheel. Let's give the boy a little tickle. Alright, mini is $12, minor is $20. Oh, we haven't got the minor. Is that epic or the what? The mini or the mega? $4. Spin it, spin it, spin it for the mini. Spin it again. Alright, well, we'll take six, better than four. We've only done three spins and hit two bonuses, so we can't complain. Alright, off we go again. Or do we cash out? Yeah, we'll give it a few more goes. Go on, set him up. Alright, we'll come back if we get something, which it looks like we have. Ah, oh, just a nice hit. $36. $36? Jesus Christ. That's like five spins. Alright, well maybe we'll just stick live with you. Good boy. <laughs> All right, what a start. 160 to 213 in what, I think five, six spins? All right, well, we'll keep going. All right, we will come back if we get something. So we were going to cash out at 200 and on our last spin hit a nice $12 line hit. So we will continue. Play black back down to uh, set it off. No. Right, we'll play back down to 200. We'll come back if we get anything in the next uh, few spins. In. Something's happening. Five of kind, time seven. 162. Right, oh my god, so we we said that we would cash out at 
$200 and then it got to 200 and I went, should we do $10 more? And we were like, no, I went, no, we'll do 190 and she was like, yeah, go on then. <laughs> Two spins later, we hit it. That is a lovely hit, $162 on a 120 bet. That's a line hit, that's not a bonus, that's a line hit. That's an insane line hit. That puts us to 3.59. I didn't expect us to get to that so quickly. Uh, we will play down to 3.50. My God, hot stuff. You really have been hot tonight. Hey? I thought he was giving us another one. <laughs> All right, we'll do a couple of backup spins live. Oh, all right, so we move literally one seat next door on to Dragonlink 841 Major, 12,500 grand. We've put $135 in, we took 200, we cashed out, and basically took $200, 100 each into our pockets, and continued with the 135. Crank up the volume. We are doing one cent, one dollar fifty a bet. Let's go. Runga! Runga! I would have thought six orbs or three flags. And we'll come back if we get something. All right, we have jumped on Hot Hot Super Jackpot Triple Golden Cherries. No idea, never played this one before. We are doing one cent denomination, one dollar bet. We have a hundred dollars left. Is there any volume on this game? Yep. All right, ooh, three X, nice. All right, we'll come back if we get something decent. All right, we have moved on to Conan of the 140 that we had. We have 85 left. That is going in Conan. Infinity card in. And hold on one second. She's spilled already. I can't get it in. All right, well, we got 150. I can't get any of it in because Emily wouldn't let me actually like set the camera up. So I'll be back in a second. Yeah, I, I can hear you cackling. He doesn't let me spin. Ever. No, I don't let her spin. She's bad luck. We never win on her spin. We don't mind. All right, here we go. Get change that. That's better. Yalla habibi. All right, we will come back if we get a hint. See you in a bit. All right, so we jumped on all aboard. Go west. We are doing one cent denomination. One dollar bets. Let's go. We're going for six trains. The bonus or three sheriff badges. And we'll come back if we get something. So we were we we saw this guy absolutely speed betting like button bashing big style on uh what they call the, the, the three little fat pigs the yellow the red and um the blue pig i can't remember what the, what the name of the game is and um yeah he was doing six dollars a spin and he was just he wasn't waiting for them to settle he was just speed betting he he must have put through four five hundred dollars in a few minutes so I said, right, let's go on the machine next to him and get the bonus. He was obviously paying six dollars, we were only paying like 75 cents. We sat down on the machine, we did about 20 spins, and we got the bonus, and we got all three set up at once. Is the face on him? I, I know he wasn't asked, because we only won like 20 dollars, and the guy's paying six dollars, so he couldn't give a fuck what we were doing. But it was just, it just his face when the bonus went and got set up all three was hilarious. Anyway, we've only got, $77 left. For God's sake, you want to go on Hurricane Horse? We're going on time for Hurricane Horse. Oh, uh, yeah. She wants to go on Hurricane Horse, but apparently some guy's got his oxygen tank on the seat, so we can't use it. 
So anyway, we're going to find a game and then we'll come back to you. All right, we're on Food Island Lian Panda, the old school machine, one cent denom. 88 cents a bet. Let's do the old one arm bandit. Here it goes. Nice. Alright, we will come back if we get a decent bonus. Alright, we hit the bonus. $54 left. Mini is 10, minor 30, major 1,271. One for the mini, one for the major, one for the grand. Two for the grand. 88 cents. Not great so far, only $1.38 one. Oh, another. Okay, two for the major. Three for the ground. I right, spin seven of ten. Doesn't look very good to get anything. This might be a five dollar bonus. Two, three for the major, only one for the minor, one for the mini. And this is our last spin, so we get nothing. $7.71, what a load of crap on the jackpot feature. Why is it a jackpot feature if you don't even get one jackpot? What a garbage. All right, we're on Wild Wheel Otter. It looks more to me like a chipmunk. Is that supposed to be an otter? That's a chip one. Anyway, we've got $62 left. We are a little bit drunk. Um, whack up the volume. Raise the roof in this place. Uh, let's go. No idea what we're looking for here. Maybe three bonus symbols. All right, we'll... Oh. Oh, okay. So Wild gives you a... Oh, nice. All right, we'll come back if we get something. Give us a jackpot bonus, no symbol upgrade. We got the bonus. Uh, five free spins awarded, crept wow, upgrade symbols. All right, no idea what that means. Let's go. Oh, what's going on? What the hell is going on? Oh, uh, we need to collect. I have no idea what's going on. Right. What? I don't know. What's going on here? Are you understanding it? Yes. Oh, go on, then explain it. You can't explain it. You don't know what the fuck's going on. Ah, so when you get three. Right. Okay. Got it. Right, we need four more. Right, click them. How many games have we got? This is the last one. So we didn't win anything. We won two dollars sixty. Is that it? Are you taking the fucking piss? I can see you. You naughty, dirty dog. Off you. Off you go. Two dollars sixty-five. Fuck you. Triple coin treasures. All right, this might be the last game we play tonight. Luxury line. We got fifty-seven dollars left. Seventy-five cents a bet. Whack it. Hey, um, move your bit. I'll be. All right, Buffalo's been a rob dog to us, so let's see if the... Oh, no. All right. I'll come back if we get something. All right, we were $7 from finishing. And we hit the bonus. 
fill them up, fill them up, fill them up, fill them up, fill them up. Six dollars. Every train. Six, twelve, eighty, twenty-four, thirty. You bastard. All right, two, two. That was quick. walked past this five dollar machine and said, like, oh I've not seen that before. I was like, oh why don't you play it? She's like, no no it's five dollars. I went, well you, you spent ten dollars and won five hundred. And that was enough to get her on the machine. So uh, now she's doing five dollars. She oh, she got twenty dollars. Only four spins. Here we go. As you may tell, I am oh, I'm not gonna say a little bit drunk, I am I am very drunk. Five dollars a spin, here we go. Oh, okay. Fuck me, you little jammy bastard! She panicked because she thought she had a max bet. She just won $60 off a $5 spin. She's a jammy bastard, she really is. All right. <laughs> we are on our way home. This is very bouncy. I'm trying to keep it steady, but everybody keeps dragging me from left to right. Right, we're on our way home. I am very drunk. She's very drunk. I disagree. <clears throat> Um, <laughs> he pushed me into a tree for. Because I'm really <laughs> She's on a mission. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, we're very drunk. We're going back to the hotel to watch. <laughs> it sounds really bad, but we're going back to the hotel to watch my first vlog on this trip because I need to edit it and I need to make sure that. It, oh, I'm going this way. <laughs> and I need to. <laughs> Oh, this is not good. This is terrible. Oh, there's no check-in queue. It already takes... Check-in at 11.15, you don't get a queue. Anyway, right, I'm terribly drunk. Um, yes, we're going back to watch my first vlog. The very, very first one, which is Travel Day and Sequoia National Park. So if the editing was shit, you'll know why now, like, six vlogs later because I'm editing editing it while I'm drunk. So here, yeah, here we go. Anyway, back to the room. Adios. Alright, it is recap time. Um, so recapping on yesterday's activities, we went to downtown Las Vegas. Um, Couldn't remember what we did then. Um, had to ask Emily. <laughs> That's how heavy the drinking was last night. So, uh, yeah, we started the morning off downstairs. We went to the rewards desk to check what the situation was. Um, and we were told still the systems were all down. They got, we got given a $50 food and beverage voucher to use instead, basically effectively as cash because the systems were down. We went to try and use that 
uh, in Eat Italy, and we were told we couldn't use it because the systems were down, which I kind of challenged it and said, well, that makes no sense. That's why we've been given these. But anyway, they refused to accept it. So we got a sandwich from one place and then a sandwich from uh, another place. And then actually when we were at this sandwich place the second time, um, they actually started accepting the vouchers. So um, we'll probably use the voucher tonight when we go to Bardo Brasserie. Um, and then, yeah, we started making our way down to downtown. So we did a $50 bonus or bust game in each casino. And overall, we did pretty well. I think we only had two busts. The rest, we came back with something. I think there were three or four where we were in the 60 to $70 mark, but we didn't have one big win, so we didn't have anything that was over $100 while we were there. But yeah, we came back with just over $400 out of the original $600 budget. So, you know, we're only $100 down for a full day in downtown and we thoroughly enjoyed it. You know, um, I prefer the strip over downtown, but it's, it is nice to get off the strip for you know for the odd day or two and go down there we had a nice pizza um in pizza rock and then uh yeah finished off the gambling and headed back down to the strip um so after we headed back to park mgm quickly got changed and headed out to cosmo and did a bit of gambling in cosmo last night and yeah in general two or three really good hits a couple of good bonuses um really really good line hit which i think was about 160 dollars um so yeah, we've actually come back pretty much with the money we started with. So Emily has come back losing $30. So she's got 370 to go back in her kitty. And I've come back with $390. So, you know, a full day out in downtown, a full day, a full evening on the strip gambling. And it's cost us, between the two of us, it's cost us $40. I mean, you can't really complain. So um, I've just put 400 back into my kitty and I've counted it and I'm now slap bang on $2,000, which pretty much puts me level. Because this is, we've had five days here. Yeah, so we've had five days here uh, and we've done $400 a day. So I am bang break even. I haven't lost a penny or a cent. Um, no, quick, touch wood. Touch something quickly. Um, so fingers crossed this continues. Uh, like I said, we've not had any huge, huge hits. Uh, we seem to be getting the bonuses on the 50 cent, the 75 cent and the $1 spins. Um, a lot of the $2 spins and above, we haven't really been getting any hits on. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I'm gonna wrap this video up and we'll pick it up tomorrow and next week for you. Thank you for watching. Hit like, subscribe, as I say, drop us a comment, anything you'd like to know. And uh, we will see you next week.